Start the story from the beginning. Well, sit back and enjoy the strange tale of Catherine. Sky fills with glamour, a lovely story <clears throat> awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse. Your guide for the night is me. The Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die. In real life. Tonight's story is Catherine, an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain <laughs> curse has a terrifying week. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He's an earnest and kind man. But one day, we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. On top of that, a torrent of sweet seduction swoops down upon him. Mmm. What a playboy, huh? Will he be able to overcome all the blocks in his life? His outcome? Hmm. Depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtains. Now enjoy the show, until we meet again. Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of no. it! Were you even listening? Uh... Sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. <laughs> yeah. LV. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, you made the council of sheep One, two, three, get sucked in my sheets Kore wa genji, so like a dream Mazaru mix to no go na clean Tsunagaru shikumi wa hen to hen Hito to no kanke wa en to en Gen ten to go, musubu ten to ten Ato wa sensu de kimaru ume no ume Left ka right ka zen go sayu Move the brick, step up, shite toi te ku trick Man, you gotta fight for your chick Demo b**** mo iru kara deki nai pick Shigan ba nai ze kyo dai Himi ha se ba kyo Showtime,
hurry up and climb. Who are you? Where is this place? Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. I'll die. Are you fucking serious? The bottom of the stage is fallen. Use the directional pad to move and climb. All right. Move the blocks to make a path. You can climb one block at a time, right? How am I supposed to move these things? Press the A button to grab the block. While holding the block, use the directional pad to push or pull it. Also, on easy difficulty, you can undo your last move by pressing back. Use it to give yourself a second chance. Finding and picking up a mystic pillow will grant you an additional continue. If you see one, make an effort to get it. It'll be worth the effort. Alright, I got it. Alright, I got it. Don't just push blocks around without thinking about it. They'll collapse. Collapse? Moving blocks around carelessly can make things... First, try pulling a block to make some foot. Alright, I got it. Alright, right, I got it. Alright, I got it. This is very important, so make sure you remember what I'm going to tell you. What is it? These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. What's that supposed to mean, they connect at the edges? Even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it won't fall down. The edges glow bluish-white when making a connection. Try it for yourself. Edge. All right, I got it. to create stairway. Where is this? What is this ringing? As you near the top, you will hear a bell ring. The exit is near. Hurry. Anyway, good luck. If we both make it out of here alive, we'll meet again. Hey, hey, wait a sec! All right, I got it. All right, I got it. All right, I got it. I can get out through here. Cemetery. I'll be in today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay, I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, 
Sorry. So, are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> mm. uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like... where you're in danger? No. No, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No. I usually do the killing in my dreams. Huh. <laughs> well, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? How many years? I'm asking you. It's just, my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose. And in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled hey, out. Hey, change it! The Chief match is on! Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. Feather's totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? And what do you think? So, who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. You kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know. <laughs> Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it be? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you. Married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. You know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides... You're single, too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Oh. Wait, that Paul? He's dead? Yeah. I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah. The mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit! No way! Maybe Will will wind up dead tomorrow, too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. What? Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream. 
but I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? Oh, where are you guys going? Stick around. I, I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. Check your text messages, and you could even reply to some messages. Be sure to read them when they come. change Vincent's inner ideas, a meter will be shown. Vincent's words and actions will affect the story. Remember it. Hey, how many years have we been together? Marriage, huh? Figured this would happen eventually, but just change jobs. I don't want to give her trouble. You got me. Spam? Without saving. Are you sure you want to continue without saving? 